Hi everybody, thanks for joining us at Lou's Reviews. And tonight I'm reviewing Iron Sky. An interesting science fiction comedy, political comedy. Um, it's a whole bag, is what it is. It's a whole bag of mixed genres. First, we're in the year 2018 where James Washington, the first African-American astronaut on the moon, uncovers a deep, dark secret, hiding since 1945, the last remnants of the Nazis. Have built a secret base on the moon, and have been planning their return to Earth. Among the Nazis, a new Fuhrer, Hitler longs since having passed away during World War II, the new Fuhrer, played by European actor Udo Kier, always nice to see him in something, has the grand plans to come back to Earth and dominate once again in the world, dominate the entire world, I should point out, uh, his heir apparent, uh, Herr Adler, wants to replace him and become the new dictator, the new Fuhrer. So, there's a little bit of a power struggle going on between the two of them. And along comes young Renata Richter, daughter of the infamous Dr. Richter, Herr Doctor is uh, the leading German Nazi scientist in charge of all the experiments going on on the moon using hilarious 1945 style technologies to try to build up these massive ships for an invasion force to Earth. Washington is captured by the Nazis, tortured by Dr. Richter, but freed by Renata a young idealistic earthologist who's under the impression that she's going to be returning to Earth to usher in a new era of peace and socialistic understanding. Uh, this is her desire is fueled by her impression that Charlie Chaplin meant to glorify the Nazis with his short film The Great Dictator. It's only when Renata arrives on Earth with Washington and other company in tow that she discovers the reality. The reality of what the Nazis really were and the reality of what Charlie Chaplin really intended in his film The Great Dictator. Um, the uh, movie never takes itself seriously. There's this horrendous portrayal of the American female president, a very Sarah Palin looking type. who is subtly racist and has a horrible southern accent and all she seems to do all day long in the Oval Office is exercise on her ski machine, strangely enough, instead of running the country. There's some uh, sharp and silly political comedy placed throughout the film, especially during the UN meetings. Uh, pay close attention to who tries to take uh, credit for the invasion force that's coming from the moon. I'll give you a hint. It's not the Russians. <laughs> You'll find out who it is. It's a delightful comedy. Uh, science fiction. Great special effects. I mean, I thought this was going to be one of those fresh out of the crapper um, and not to make a reference back to the last film I reviewed. Anyway, uh, I thought this was going to be one of those Asylum Studio pictures. You know, that company that puts out all those dumpy movies that parody blockbusters and all those stupid shark, mega shark movies and two-headed shark and all that crap. Uh, this is not one of those films. Um, it's well done. It's pretty well acted. The special effects are fairly top-notch. 
Be sure to look out for the United States top weapon in space, the USS George W. Bush, just bristling with weapons of war. As I said, dark political humor runs throughout the entire film. Um, I'm going to give it uh, four out of five stars. Um, it was fun. It was fun. Um, if you're going to watch it, be sure to uh, watch all the way through. There's a, uh, a funny little thing at the very ending credits. Uh, a lesson is learned about racial tolerance and kindness towards your fellow man. So it's not like this is some kind of Nazi exploitation film where the Nazis are glorified. It's not like that at all. It's just a, a fun little ride. A what-if kind of scenario. So, uh, Iron Sky, check it out. Fun movie. Stick with us um, next weekend as we're going to the movies and hopefully coming home with good things to say about Godzilla. A movie that uh, the kids and I have been looking forward to for several years. We'll see you again.